David Truers, The Heartbeat of Wounded Me, Native America from 1890 to the Present, is a deeply insightful and thought-provoking exploration of Native American history and contemporary life. Through a skillful blend of historical accounts, personal narratives, and cultural analysis, Truer challenges prevailing narratives about Native Americans and presents a nuanced perspective that encompasses both the struggles and the resilience of indigenous peoples. The book's title itself alludes to a tragic moment in Native American history, the Wounded Knee Massacre of 1890, which marked the end of the Indian Wars and the start of a bleak era for Native Americans. However, Trua uses this historical event as a starting point rather than an end point, tracing the complex and diverse experiences of Native Americans from that point to the present day. One of the book's central themes is the idea of continuity. Truer argues that Native American culture, language, and identity have not disappeared despite centuries of colonization, oppression, and forced assimilation. He highlights the ongoing efforts of Native American communities to preserve their traditions, languages, and cultural practices. Truer's own Ojibwe heritage provides a personal connection to these themes, and his storytelling skill brings these narratives to life. One of the strengths of Truer's work is his commitment to presenting a multifaceted view of Native American experiences. He emphasizes the diversity among Native American tribes and nations, highlighting the distinct histories and challenges faced by each. Through interviews and personal stories, he introduces readers to a range of individuals from different backgrounds, demonstrating that there is no one-size-fits-all narrative when it comes to Native American history. Truer also challenges common stereotypes and misconceptions about Native Americans. He critiques the vanishing Indian myth, which suggests that Native Americans are a dying or extinct people. Instead, he shows that Native American communities are very much alive and evolving, adapting to changing circumstances while maintaining their cultural identities. In addition to historical accounts and personal narratives, Truer delves into policy and politics. He examines the impact of government policies, such as the Dawes Act and the Indian Reorganization Act, on Native American communities. He also discusses the ongoing struggles for tribal sovereignty and the importance of land rights in contemporary Native American activism. Through these discussions, he illustrates how policy decisions have shaped the lives of Native Americans and continue to do so today. Truer's writing is both informative and engaging. He has a knack for blending historical analysis with personal anecdotes, making the book accessible to a wide range of readers. His prose is evocative, drawing readers into the stories he tells and the places he describes. He skillfully weaves together the past and the present, showing how historical events continue to resonate in the lives of Native Americans today. One of the most powerful aspects of the book is its exploration of resilience. Despite centuries of adversity, Native American communities have shown remarkable resilience and determination. Truer showcases examples of individuals and communities that have overcome significant challenges, from the revitalization of Native languages to the resurgence of traditional cultural practices. These stories of resilience serve as a testament to the strength and resilience of Native American people. In conclusion, the Heartbeat of Wounded Knee, by David Truer, is a compelling and essential work that challenges conventional narratives about Native American history. Truer's nuanced exploration of the past and present offers a more complete understanding of the diverse experiences and enduring resilience of Native American communities. This book serves as a vital contribution to the ongoing conversation about Native American identity, history, and culture, and it invites readers to reconsider their perceptions of indigenous peoples in America.
Truer's masterful storytelling and deep empathy for his subjects make this book a must-read for anyone interested in the complex tapestry of Native American history and contemporary life.